Okay, I want to actually talk about uh, control knock gate again. We already know how to do control knock gate with the uh, most significant bits as the controlling qubit, right? This one. Now here, in this drawing, is different from IBM Q. Most significant bits is on the top. Okay, and the matrix for this one is zero, zero. What is that, by the way? Do you remember? Can you memorize the control knock gate matrix? I drew here. Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> well, why are you are co confused? This was the one we learned at the beginning. No, 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 it's the same. What I draw here. It doesn't matter it's the same or last time. What is this? <laughs> and that's why I say it. now I have the MSV on top. And again, this is important. Uh, okay, yeah. If IBM Q, that's different. Yeah. If I still draw in this way for IBM Q, then it's different. Now, now what I want to say is, how about this? Still the MSB on top, but the controlling qubit is at the LSB. Okay. Now we need to develop it a little bit. Just look at what is the meaning of control knob. If the input is 0, 0, the LSB is controlling. What is the LSB now? 0. So you do nothing, right? What if it is 0, 1? What is the LSB now? 1, right? So what do you do? You apply nodes to the target QB. So it becomes what? 1, 1. Very good. Okay. And what if it is one zero? What do you get? One zero because the controlling qubit is zero, right? Remember, this is the LSB and this is controlling. This is the control qubit, right? And then how about one one? You get zero one. And you basically you see that it keeps it the same except it swap these two. One one becomes zero one and zero one becomes one one right so in the matrix naturally you will find that the uh second and the fourth row are going to get what it will be this and that was your answer right yes You might not get it right away, that's fine, but just apply it to, uh, uh, to, to one of them to check, right? For example, you apply this 1000000100100100 to, let's say, 11. One, one. What is 11 one, one in matrix form? Zero, 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 one. Again, this means I have one unit of one, one, right? And you get what? First row, nothing. Second row, you get one. And then nothing, right? Which means I have one unit of zero, one. And this is exactly... Right? The definition that we have here, 1, 1 becomes 0, 1. You do the same thing, you will get the rest, right? Here is to let you be aware. You need to be aware of all this that uh, particularly when you have a control gate, this entanglement gate, that you need to know which one is the control qubit, which one is the target qubit.
then your matrix will be different. Okay, you need to be very careful of, of this, right? And we, where is the MSB? The reason I discuss this is because we want to talk about the swap gate. Now, swap gate is what? It's like I want to swap the wave function, the states of two qubits. I want them to exchange. Why this is important? You might say that I have an electron here, I have another electron here. Easy, just swap them in the space, right? Or uh, I just relabel it. Uh, this is called electron one, now it's called electron two in my algorithm, right? That is possible. But however, in many solid state quantum computer, like the spin qubit, uh, sure, I don't know if spin qubit can swap easily, right? But uh, let, let's say just superconducting qubit, they are there already. You cannot physically move the qubit, right? And you definitely, it's not just a wire to swap them, right? In a classical uh, computer, we, we, we draw the swap gate like this. This is one of the symbol, right? This is another symbol you get from IBM Q. They are all swap gates. The reason we have this symbol because this is looks like a swap, but it's misleading. You don't really swap, have a wire and just sense the signal difference. You can do this in classical computer, right? You just rewire them, then I swap already. But here, you, you cannot do that, okay? So, but however, a swap gate equals to, and by the way, why we need swap gates? This is particularly, for example, in, you may see this, uh, if you go to IBM Q, click on the machine you submitted, the real machine, and look at the properties. You may tell you, for example, this is a five qubit gate, and it has this architecture. Basically, you think that you can do some two qubit operation between these two qubit or this two qubit, or this two qubit, but you cannot do two qubit operation between those are not connected. Because to do the operation, you actually need to shoot some special microwave. And if they are far away, they are not designed to be connected, they won't interact, you won't get the two qubit gate. But what if I want to do a control knob between this one and this one, what do I do? You use a swap gate. You swap this one with this one, and then swap with this one. Now, then they can talk to each other. When it is done, swap it back. So do not think that swap uh, this uh, easy. You really need to look at the architecture, right? That's why we have E274 in the spring, right? You need to think about all this thing, okay? Now, how do we implement swap gate? But let's re remind ourselves, what is the matrix of a swap gate? It is one zero 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 one zero zero one zero zero and zero 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 one. Right? We proved that before. And the only thing I want to tell you here is that this swap gate can be implemented by three control knob gate. Let's let's do call this. This time I use IBM Q. I try to confuse you. Okay. One swap gate, I mean one control not gate, two control not gate, three control not gate. Okay, and this is a swap gate. And naturally, what now this is the input, right? Because this is the circuit and this is the output, right? Can we come work together and find out the matrix of this form? What is this in terms of the matrix? Right, I want you to put in the right order. Which gate it encounter first from left to right? This one or this one? The, huh? Far right or far left? Far left. Yes. So this is the first one you will encounter. So I write on the right, right? <laughs> it is? But which one should I use? Should I? Which one is controlling qubit? MSB. So I use the one we have learned at the beginning, right? One zero 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 one zero zero 
zero zero zero one zero zero one zero. I say beginning at the very beginning when we learn the control not gate. The MSB is the controlling qubit. Although I draw it at the bottom, but remember this is MSB at the bottom, the IBM Q layout, right? Then what should be the next one? The next gates that you encounter? Yeah, the LSB control, which we just learned in the last line. One zero zero zero, you swap the second and the fourth one, so it is like this. Okay, so if I call this one, this two, this three, then this is one, this is two, this is three, and three again is just uh, the MSB controlling uh, not gate. Okay, so I'm not going to do this. Go home and multiply. You should find that they are the same. They should be the same, unless I make a mistake. Okay. Uh, I think it would be good to, maybe let me just move forward. Okay. I go home to chase, right? If I have a zero, let, let's play with this. I think this is a good exercise to see how it swaps. What if my input is zero, one here? What will be the output after I passing through the first swap gate? If the input is zero, one. He says zero, why? Good. Right, because the controlling bit is now. See, I try not to put zero here and one here because sometimes it's superposition. You cannot really put it there. Now, actually, you can put zero one and one here, right? But anyway, this becomes zero one. What happened after the second one? One one, right? Because the controlling bit is now the LSB and it is one. And now, what is the output? one zero because msb is one right so it becomes one zero so do you see that they are swap that is the definition of the swap gate right okay so good good okay so we are done with this circuit uh for the exam i think you really need to spend time to understand all the slides up up to here i just mentioned understand very well keep listening replaying the video Right? This concept are important. Don't mess up left to right, right to left. Okay? So, uh, yeah. So, all these matrix gyms are, let's say, yeah, I think you fly the way you fly the way you turn the matrix by expect. Uh, yeah, I don't expect you to memorize, put in the cheat sheet. For all the important matrix, right? And uh, that's why I want to make you panic. I want you to be panicked, you try to copy everything, and then you learn. Oh yeah, for C0, you need to remember this too, right? For other more sophisticated ones, I don't expect that. Otherwise, you, you are going to evaluate me very bad in the end of the class. <laughs> I cannot... Yeah. Yeah. Just yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then by inspection. Yeah. Yes. And then you want to verify also, right? Because we easily need to make mistake. But that is the real thing. When you in the future you're going to invent a gate yourself. That's how you come up with a gate by this definition, right? Instead of memorizing this. Yeah. Okay. I mean, depends on what I, I say. The point is, uh, uh, if I say, okay, I want to have certain outputs, then you design a gauge to get a certain output. Or I say, I give you this circuit. What is the equivalent matrix of this circuit? Yeah. yeah, and then in that case, you just build from the basics like here, and then you get the total output. Okay. But anyway, uh, studying this slide is important. Do not think that I just 
teach you. I just taught you, right? They are important. Every concept. Because here you cover all the concepts we have learned earlier, actually, normalization or whatever, right? Okay. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about is the quantum teleportation. Mm. 